Hi guys, and I'm Michael from Casa Mia Salentina. Uh, in this video, it's a little bit different to normal. I'm uploading a, all the jobs that I've been doing around the pl place: renovating, painting, refurbishing, fly screens, all sorts of different things. Yes, Michael's been busy. I've been a very busy boy. He always used to say to me for the last 10, 12 years, jokingly, oh, in my past life I used to be a baker. And I go, really? As you all know, I bake sourdough bread. And now he bakes sourdough yeah. bread, you know, 12 years on. And he used to always say, in my past life, I used to be a painter. As you'll and see in the video. He's been painting. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, he keeps making jokes about, I used to be this, I used to be that. And... Uh, since we've she been never here, believed me. I didn't believe him, but in the last seven, eight weeks, <laughs> after like 15 years of knowing Michael, being married and etc., I'm seeing all these many talents of his previous life. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so he has been fixing fly screens. Yeah. Painting, <laughs> cement rendering. Even. Cement rendering. That was a first, actually. I, I wasn't a cement renderer in a past life. <laughs> That's a new skill. <laughs> that's bit rendering. What else have you done that's a bit weird? Oh, and restoring vintage furniture. Yes. Like I've done a little bit of that. Well, that are, yeah, he has done that at home, I in guess. In a previous life, too. Yeah, he has done that back in Australia. So yeah. um, so that's nothing new, I guess. But uh, So in this little episode, I think, Michael, is it fast forward? Or um, it? Yes, I did a little bit of talking at the beginning, and then I put it on fast motion because you don't want to sit there for 20 minutes watching me paint no. something so, so I've added the see. music and sit back enjoy it yeah so if you want to um skip our intro for the regulars you can go straight into Michael's renovations for those of you that are new have never seen our channel before you might just want to listen to that first one and a half minute intro and uh, then get on with the video and I think the only job left well maybe the only last three jobs left if we um have time to do them because we're in the month of August now and if many of you might know in Italy it's um they close up shop in a lot of places except the touristy places obviously and uh, it's holiday time for all the um, Italians so it's for us in Australia that would normally be the end of December in January that's our period over there and in here in Italy and a lot of Europe not just Italy Spain Greece it's the month of August so we're going to do what they do. We've got a couple of little short trips planned. So, uh, yep. yeah, so we'll be doing a few things. So we may not be able to get the last three odd jobs done, but uh, we're confident that we can still get the place rented out uh, regardless because they're really only aesthetic. Yeah. They're, they're really not, aesthetic. Not necessary. They're not necessary, yeah. no. Um, yeah. When you rent a property here in Italy, um, it's usually... Well, not usually, I've been told almost all the time, uh, rented with furniture. So mm. it's, a, it's a furnished renting yeah. uh, rental. So uh, we do have now the beds, uh, the dining room table. We, we have all those sort Pretty of things in here. Yeah. yeah, so the little three odd jobs that we have left uh, are not necessary. No. We want to paint our front door because we don't like the brown front door on the street. So that's not really necessary, so if we don't get that done, this time around lucky that's I fine. was a painter in a previous life yeah lucky he was a painter <laughs> I apologise if my knee was in the camera earlier too I was sitting like this and I couldn't see the screen uh, anyway yes. yeah, we're up on our rooftop at the moment so yes, um, and it's quite bright it's, it's really bright and white up here so uh, yeah. the reflection um, it's sort of hard for us to see the camera so hopefully we are we in the camera <laughs> we're in the frame hopefully we're we in are. the frame yeah. uh, and the other job would be the chairs Chairs of the dining table. Yeah, the we, chairs of the dining room table. Them we we want them um, distressed. That one, the, those chairs. Yeah. And uh, the third job is tiling the very top of the stairwell. Yes, which Somewhere you'll there. see in the video <laughs> when when we show show me yes. rendering it. Um, what we get. We're so we have there. found yep. um, a lady that helped us from a antique vintage fair a couple of weeks ago. And told us where you can get the actual vintage antique original tiles so we don't have to go to a tiling shop and buy modern tiles we can actually get something vintage and original and they have them all mixed which is how we like them we 
The ones yeah. sort of have that Sicilian or Amalfi type of look yeah. on, on the wall. Yeah. So um, we'll see what they have when we go there to um, check out their, um, well, it's not really a showroom. It's sort of like a lot of the vintage stores that you go to in Tuscany where you just go out to the lot out in the open and you just go scrummage and Looking, yeah. find what you can find. Yeah. So we're really looking forward to that yeah. and um, see what we can get. If we can get more than one lot, we were thinking of a couple of tiles around the frame of the fireplace. Mm. Um, may, maybe a feature in our patio downstairs, but we'll, we'll just have to first see what's available. Yeah. But as we said, they're all aesthetic. They're not necessary to rent the property. Yeah, so if we don't get to them, we don't we get, don't to, get them to them. We don't get to them, we don't get to them. And uh, I think the only other thing that we needed to do that we weren't aware of, and we had, um, well, probably two weeks of extreme heat here in Europe and in Italy um, also, uh, where the temperatures were like 42 plus degrees. And we had the air conditioners on, our brand new air conditioners, and they kept cutting off the electricity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, when I say cut off, I think Michael went up and down the stairs five, six yeah, times to, to put uh, more than a couple of things on power wise and out it, she goes. It cuts off. Uh, apparently, most common um, kilowatt for most houses here is two to three uh, watts. Yeah. So we had to upgrade to four and a half watts so that we could actually have three air conditioners on if we need to, like bedrooms, living area, yeah. um, or if you wanted two air conditioners with a fan or your cooking fan, or if you had two air conditioners with yeah. your washing machine. Yeah. In fact, I don't even think that worked. I think that kept cutting off. Yeah. So um, that's just a little thing for anyone that's in Italy and they've just purchased a home and you want to just check your kilowatts because when it comes to the using those sort of appliances um, a lot of people always say even, even when you're renting an airbnb sometimes you may notice yourself you you go oh put the air conditioning on or put something else on or, and my electricity's cut off yeah. you probably find it's just the proprietor only has a two or three kilowatt yeah yeah so uh, that's something we had to uh, get organized as well very quick and easy i think we had a one-off fee to pay yep I think it was like 110 euro uh, and it's just a one-off fee, so you know, definitely worth doing. Yep. Mm. All right. That's about it. We will leave you there. We might put some snippets in in our next video of some of the places um, that we visit, so you can see what's in this beautiful Salento region. And uh, sit back and enjoy. Yes. We'll see you in our next video. Leave some comments. Yeah, definitely leave us some comments and and um, uh, uh, like the video. We're going to try now and get this video channel um, up and running because we get a lot of um, messages through our Instagram especially the people that follow us there um, asking us a lot of questions uh, about buying a home the area uh, how do you choose that area you know what's it like to live there pricing and, and so forth um, so not that we're residents here but living being here for four months you get an idea of what it's like to actually live here so um, yeah by all means we're uh, welcome to to questions and if we can answer them we can if not we can refer you to people that can actually help you yep so uh hit the like button yes yes if you can do that it costs you comment, nothing subscribe whatever whatever okay. they say you've got to do yeah whatever <laughs> it is you do exactly yeah. and uh thank you for watching this is our journey of buying a home in south of italy in salento the heel of italy known for its beautiful beaches sunshine a land steep in history we bought our house in the historic centre of Galatine, a small town just a short trip from the beautiful coast of Santa Maria al Bagno and surrounding towns of Gallipoli, Galatina and Nado. Follow our journey on how we made it possible from Australia to purchase this remotely and the progress of the refurbishment and restoration along the way. to the next project. Uh, restoring this old desk which is going to be used like an office desk I guess. Uh, we're going to sand the top back and varnish and we're going to give the legs a, that shabby look again with the, uh, the old white paint and a bit of sanding to bring uh, some timber out. See how we go.
So today's job is replacing the fly screen on the second bedroom door, which I removed the other day. It's a piece of frame that attaches to the door there. I'll show you the other door. It's that whole piece here. Need to buy some new fly screen. I'll flip the camera around. So see it here on the floor. New fly screen. Wish me luck. <laughs> doesn't have the proper ones it has like a round rubber tube someone's already replaced it before and it's a little bit bigger so it might be a bit harder to get in there's always something isn't there oh, well we got it all in now I've just got to trim around the edges how we look not too bad actually Careful here, don't worry. Okay, I finished. Another job down. Let me flip the camera and show you. Okay, the remnants of what's left that I didn't need. Back up on the wall. You can't really see it from here. Let me zoom out a bit, but you can probably see that there. Attach the flame back up all the way down to the bottom. Okay, on to the next one, the bathroom. Next door. Placing the fly screen up here in our little second room above the bathroom. There might be an echo. Uh, so I'm, not, I'm sort of leaning, leaning this one, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it yet. Flip it on a dip, we'll find that one. Do you see what I'm going to ask? I apologise. somehow and then I'll attach the frame to the old frame I'll leave the old fly screen there because we get cats and birds and they can attack the old fly screen rather than the new one hopefully um, yeah so the new fly screen will sit between the old one and the new one new frame that is okay because I don't have access to the outside and I didn't want to remove the old one so that's like double protection. I've cut out the piece. That's the frame. I've cut out the fly screen piece and I've stuck it on to the old frame with a bit of, bit of a mixture actually. <laughs> some silicon in between is some PVA glue because there's timber. I'll make sure it didn't come off. And now I will do the same with the frame, I'll just attach it with some glue of some sort because I don't want to put a nail in it because I think the frame will fall out of the old one if I put enough glue and silicon, it should be good I'll just do 
that particular last place on here. That pass is good. Second round where no one sees. As long as we stop mosquitoes, we'll be good. Okay, so on to the next project. It's our kitchen table, kitchen bench, table that we're using as a bench. Let me show you. Sand. Sand it all back. Put a bit of paint on the legs with the shabby look. Varnish the top. Let's get into it. Number two done at the varnish. 
that might be it for the top anyway. We are the wet sponge, smooth it over, make a mess. <laughs> We've also removed the railing that was right across underneath where he's trailing at the moment. That was all railing, so he had to fill that in. And what's the plan to put on that wall? Oh, we might put a, like a tile feature here. We're not sure exactly what yet, but... Yeah, so we can see it from the bottom of the stairs yeah. looking up.
Hello, I've been busy again. Another job just completed. Uh, you would have seen the, um, we're well, going to see the videos of me doing a bit of work on it, and now I'm going to show you the finished product. So let me flip the camera. Okay, it was already sanded back, so I painted it. And now I've just sanded it back and given it that distressed look in certain spots. Actually looks better in real life than it does on the uh, video. Close up looks good. Yeah, so now it looks old again. So that's about it. Ciao for now.